Hey guys, it's Chrissy Senpai again, and today I'm doing another real-time video on how I color things. So first, we need a sketch. Oh my goodness, what should we sketch? Hmm. By the way, this is a real-time recording. <laughs> Maybe we're going to sketch my dog, because he's very easy to shade, very um, monotone colored. So first... You just sketch a cute picture, and in this case, everything of Ozzy is a cute picture. But since I can't reach my buttons because I have to have the mic on my laptop, um, I can't reach the buttons at the moment. So nothing is going to be deleted sketch-wise. And I just wanted to do this because there's some people, uh, at least on my other social medias where there's more people watching, uh, this is a fat Aussie, Jesus. Um, they're asking how do you color the way that you do. So I'm just gonna do like a little tutorial. Give him a chin roll. He's the thickest boy. Even though my dog is not this thick. So. You got your sketch of your dog or whatever. First you lower the opacity of the sketch. And then for Ozzy, I just take white. This is what I call my painterly style. Um, I don't do mine art very typically. Just because I'm not very good at it. But I will make a video on that, I guess. To show how I get by having a weak line art game. And you fill that boy in. It's okay if you go a little bit outside this, like the sketch that you thought. Um, you would, or the sketch that you made for him, because I will show you what I do in a second when I do that, because that happens a lot. Do 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 do. Just draw my dog. Okay, so you got him colored. Now you're gonna want to add little accent colors, which in this case is pretty much brown. You get your brown. Ozzy's more of the warm brown. You zoom in. Eyeball. Oh, no. This is where it gets troublesome. Eyeball. Eyeball. Snoot. I'm gonna do a human version of this as well, but um, I do do a lot of animal art. So, as you see, he's ready to go. Looking like a cloud boy. Uh, maybe add a few more edits here and there. Poof him out. Get them rounded. Well-rounded dogs, you know. And that is complete. Looks pretty clean, as you can see. Maybe one more poof here. And then now we're going to go add a layer. I'm just doing this inside. You can do this in multiple programs. But this is the one only program I have on my computer. Two, I'm not paying for Photoshop. Uh, and three, uh, I do have an iPad, but it is quite older, so I do not have a pen for that. But if I ever get a way to record it, I will show how to do other programs on that as well. Though it won't look as nice because I'm not used to drawing with my finger. Or at least not anymore. Okay, so you want to lower the opacity down some more. Mine is at 9. You just do whatever feels right. And you first kind of go around the outline of your drawing. Like I said, this is more focused on animal art. Human art may be a little... It is a little bit different, actually, but not by much. And then you color or right on top of there. Make sure you clip the layer. Also, another thing. You can see here, I have this thing called a stabilizer on. I have to draw with one of these on. Some people's art looks perfectly fine without them. But if you find that your stuff is looking too squiggly and shaky... Try popping that stabilizer on because it'll help a lot. It's helped me a lot because, again, uh, I didn't know what a stabilizer was for years. And if you look at my old Leaving Art page, you will see that I do not know what a stabilizer was. Um, I was still quite. Hello, eBay. I was still quite new at uh, digital art back then, obviously. I was still new at art, period. But if I knew what a stabilizer was then, oh my goodness, it would have helped so much. Okay, I need to stop shading and continue adding his little... Because I don't outline the whole thing with part of the shading color. 
but I do want to get a good idea of where I want the lights and the darks to be. Now, since Ozzy is a pure white dog, uh, his lights tend to be a little bit different. Got to put that chin. He looking pretty poofy. Okay, so now you got your outlines done. You know where you want your lights and darks to be. And you just use the airbrush tool. That's what I was using before. I forgot to mention. I generally, mostly, I don't use the pen for much. Um, sometimes in human art, I will use the pen tool. But as you can see, I don't really like how it, it's not soft in any way. Now, you don't want to overuse the airbrush tool by any means. Because then your art's just going to look muddy. He's looking a little muddy right now because I've not added any other colors. But you will see he's going to look a little less muddy soon. Do, do, do. Pet my, or not, uh, I always sing this song, Pet My Bichon, but this time I am uh, coloring my Bichon. I always love to draw headshots of animals, especially like goofy headshots. Okay, so when you get to this point, you want to use the watercolor. This is all real time, by the way. Again, this is more of a quick painting. This isn't like a detailed image. So you have one of two things you can do when you get to this point. Now, see he's a lot darker. If you go back, I'm going to undo, and you use the base color versus the color you were coloring with, it lightens it up a good bit when you're blending it out, and it looks a bit different. I prefer to do it this way. I do forget to do it this way a lot. But it's almost like blending markers when you color this way. At least from how I blend markers. Uh, I love Copic markers, um, Prismacolor, a hoo hoo. Uh, so this is my closest recommendation for markers because the actual marker tool i don't really like it in Psy. i'm sure there's a way to edit it i've edited every single one of my tools like countless times don't be afraid to edit your tools by the way uh you can always reset your tool oh i got the burps you can always reset your tools by uh, i'll show you right now by going here and just clicking the base tool like so if you fuck up the pen or <laughs> Okay, you fuck up the pencil, you replace the pencil. I do not have a pencil tool on this, I don't think. Yeah, I don't have what is named a pencil tool. You can rename all your tools to whatever you want. That's what I would recommend doing, just so you know what you're grabbing. Um, my watercolor tool is about the only one I don't really mess with much, because I got it where I like it. That is the goal, is you gotta get your, like, your airbrushing and effects brushes to where you like them. And then it'll look a lot different. Because I also didn't know you could edit brushes until uh, quite some time into my digital art journey. So that should help a lot. I get a lot of younger people messaging me on Instagram. Uh, like a lot of younger followers and stuff. Um, how do you, you know, draw or um, how do you color the way you do? You know, I want to color like that, but I don't really know how to use this app. Well, uh, I can at least help you with Psy. And a lot, of, a lot of programs have similar tools. So, you just find what's similar. Uh, again, someday I will try to make a video about other programs because I have experience in a few other ones. But, you know, I don't have experience with every single program. That would be insane. Okay. So, I'm continuing to just add the color. Add darker colors for shading. You want to lower that sketch even more. Basically, so it's barely there. Sometimes it's so barely there that I forget to actually turn it off when I save the project and I can see it in the final picture. Don't do that. Okay, make sure all your details that you want refined, like his snoot. I want his snoot, his mouth, and his ears refined. So you gotta make sure you go back over with that darker color. Because Ozzy, while he is white, he's a very blue, almost like... Uh, this is like a weird comparison but like teeth whitening kits they're like you want because a lot of it puts like a blue stuff on your teeth because it turns it white so Ozzy's essentially or at least in this case this is how I'm getting my lights and darks so I'm going from the lightest color which is white to taking these and blending them out so when you get to the point that you have all your darks you want to go under them with a new layer with a color that's somewhere in like in the darks as I picked right there. Because we don't want them pure white. While Bichons are quite white dogs. We don't want only white, you know what I mean? We don't want so much white. So you go under all the shadows and then add that. So you keep your shadows and it blends it as well. 
So now we're going to add a little bit more white to certain parts, like right here, where the light is going to hit him. It's mostly just me rambling about how I draw. Uh, I'm no master at digital art. I just like the way that I do it and thought I would share. Whoops. Share the way that I do it. Again, make sure you're clipping your layers because look, when you, uh, you don't clip that, it looks real wonky. Do, do, do. And you're going to put some white over here to accentuate the fluff. Because he's a sheep. A little sheepy boy. And there we go. We've got a pretty well shaded, quick, like 10 minute. I don't, how many, how long is this video? A, a, literally a 10 minute speed paint. Now, this again is going to be different for different breeds of dogs. Um, or any other type of art. This is just something I, you know, knew would be quick and easy to follow. So we're just going to keep going. Adding a little bit more dark darkness to the fur and blend that out with the watercolor tool give him some a thicker chin blend that chin out a little, f a little darker down here because this is part of the lowest point blend it out and there we go we got a little Aussie now I'm just gonna add shading to his eyes and his nose For me, I like to have almost, I don't like to use black very often in my art, but there are times when it's needed, like a dog's nose. Generally, their noses are quite dark, so I'm trying to darken that up without making it too dark. And their eyes are quite dark, but again, oh, he, he's cross-eyed. Whoops. But just experiment. I find, again, this is just somebody who doesn't. I do this in my style that I like. And some people like it, some people don't. That's perfectly fine. But hopefully this helps out anyone who wants to get their foot into the digital painting world. I know it was quite intimidating for me when I first started because I really couldn't find any videos um, that I liked, um, you know, that I could follow along easy. Because a lot of them are like just um, sped up text type videos, which I don't like those at all. So I thought, okay, you know, I'm sure there's more now. I didn't look up before I started this. But I'm going to make my own. And this is basically beginner's tips on how to paint inside. Now we can't forget the little doofy eyebrows. Ozzy always needs those. Okay. So as you can see, now we take the sketch away. He's looking pretty good. Add a few more shadows back here. Add a little bit more white in the middle. Okay. And now, some other little tippy tips. How to get white in your drawings easy on Psy. So, this is going to be the best way I can explain this. So you got your white source coming down on- oh goodness, ignore that moon in the background, it is- or not moon, <laughs> uh, planet. It is for a uh, project. So you put your white down, just like that. I use the airbrush because it gives it a soft look, but you can go in with a smaller brush. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was using 120, now I'm using- or um, 350, now I'm using 150. You want to hit luminosity. Ooh, that's a bit much. And just mess with the brightness. You don't even have to hit luminosity if you don't want to. Ozzy's just staring at the sun. You know, that's good for a dog's eyes. Just staring into the sun. A little heavenly pooch. Now you got some quick lighting. You can do luminosity if it looks right on the picture, but it uh, doesn't look very good when your dog is pure white. Looks a little, a uh, little strange. You can also do multiply, but that literally does like nothing. It turns him a little. Looks like he is some peed on snow. You know what I'm saying? So we just do normal and just mess with the opacity. Go back, make another layer, and do it again. The heavens are raining down on Ozzy because he's such a good boy. 
get some of those uh, anime sparkles in there, you know, add some twinkles. Some of those insane person rambling to themselves, I'm sure my neighbors are thrilled. Here we go. And now for the actual background, I'm gonna leave it pink, but I'm gonna make it dark. all kinds of brushes for different textures. The brush tool and sigh has a crazy amount of like things you can do with it. I'm just not very good at it. So we'll add a little texture with the brush just so I can show what I'm talking about. So you can literally add all kinds of little textures with this brush. But again, um, it probably works better for people who want to sit down and fiddle with it for a while and make their own brush sets. Uh, that 